Working as a change agent in education is a tough job, but it can be a rewarding one. I'm hoping the organizers of the Partners in Learning event share my conviction that innovative teaching practices are essential for the future of education. I've been at it for some 12 years now, but there is still so much work left to be done. Working with students is an essential part of the change agent's agenda. Without practical, hands-on experience in the classroom, we can't speak convincingly and credibly to our colleagues. Working with decision makers in local and national governments is also essential. For me, innovative teaching practices mean facilitating student learning by fostering autonomy and motivation through task-based and action-based activities. Instead of just reading text and making vocabulary lists, students can link ideas and actions using mind maps or do web quests that ask them to visit websites and use their creativity to reach their final goal. Students can also become involved in international collaboration projects, and part of my work involves helping colleagues get started with e-twinning or Comenius projects, like the Saving Our Planet project I've been organizing for the last five years, or the Vivo Virtual Interactive Village I started in the Ardèche in 2000, which is now based in Châteauroux, and which allows students from different countries to exchange ideas on a variety of themes, like this discussion between French, German, Romanian, and Italian students about wind power. But if I stopped there with my classroom, the number of students affected would necessarily be quite limited. Teacher training sessions allow me to spread the good word to a wider population of classroom teachers in order to encourage them to adopt innovative teaching practices in turn, or sometimes just to more effectively use the tools they already have at their disposal. It means traveling to different schools to reach out to local teachers, or even inviting international colleagues to specially organized seminars. Working together and sharing ideas within the context of innovative learning can go a long way towards helping colleagues to think outside the box and take teaching beyond the walls of the classroom. Facilitating change not just on a local level, but on a national and international scale just doesn't happen by itself. Change agents need to work together not only to share ideas, but especially to boost their own motivation because rewards are often few and far between, whether it includes official recognition from the educational institution, or simply recognition and encouragement from colleagues. So I have high hopes for the Partners in Learning event at Redmond. Let's see if we can translate networking and synergy between innovative educators into real progress in the classroom.